Well, good evening world, how are you? It's a Friday evening and the weather today has been glorious. 26 degrees, blue sky, like summer again. Since I got back from my house-sitting trip, it's been almost nothing but rain, overcast, and temperatures have definitely been a bit colder. A few days ago I was back in one of my winter jumpers. It's not good. Um, I'm trying to must up energy to do things. My energy has been absolutely desperate. It's physical and mental energy. And I think a lot of it is to do with, well, I blame it on time of life and hormones and all that kind of thing. Um, but I think some of it is the whole world of living on your own and working on your own and being quite limited doing things because of financial constraints. So I've been trying to get back in doing some design work. I've been not been designing and making anything because sales are really slow at the moment and I've kind of run out of room I and mean, I don't want to keep on designing and making stuff if it's not going to sell because I might get stuck with these things for years otherwise but after I did my my trip into town to the cinema I felt quite buoyant after that and I think you know just just doing something different being surrounded by busyness and city and people and cinema and something completely different just gave me a bit of energy and the next day I did actually start to start to design something and I did one of my braided coasters which I sell on my website so this is what I made I don't know if you can see that up close doesn't want to focus I love making these they're all made from the remnants of fabric from all my dress projects because I try not to throw anything into the bin. I try to put any of the leftovers of what I make into landfill. So I keep all the fabric remnants and then I weave them together into these coasters that I uh, sell online through e-commerce and through my website. But I haven't done any in ages, mostly because I haven't been designing any dresses for the last few months because no one's buying high-end dresses at the moment. And I just thought I'll just kind of take a break from it. I focused on doing more of the, the website, sorting out my business, YouTube, all that sort of thing. Just trying to to work on the kind of the ad mini online internet-y side of things and just trying to drum that into place a little bit but of course these things take time so websites can take up to a year to get themselves properly found in on sites like Google, YouTube, similar, Pinterest where I'm trying to make a bit more effort um, can easily take a year. I've given up on Instagram again it's just a waste of time um, because it's all very well people looking at your stuff but at the end of the day you need actual sales of things and I'm just fed up with it I'm fed up with wading through mud all the time because everything is so oversaturated so I've not been doing very much I felt physically and mentally really exhausted and I think that's a whole mixture of different things. So it's not been a very eventful month. But the sun's out today, and so I've been um, I'm making another one of my coasters for some other fabrics. And this one has a sea theme. So I'm at the braiding stage. So um, these are the blues that I'm using. And I don't know if you can see further down the other end there's um, 
there's a green element coming into it as well and then it'll probably be blend into white and that'll be the sea surf and all that sort of thing I love making these I love just blending the colors together and seeing how they end up and I've got quite a range of designs on my site now and they're all from leftover fabric so these are little design things I can do that don't require much brain power and don't cost me any money to do but every so often I get I really get the urge to design and make a, another dress or, or something and I don't really have any fabrics in stock because I don't really have the spare collateral at the moment to buy fabrics um, normally I would go into um, there's a particular shop that I use in town and I would go in and pick up all the fabrics that I thought I could work with and I can come out spending anything between about 30 and 80 pounds. 80 pounds of fabric is about a year's worth for me because it's sold by the kilo. So it's all the leftover chunks of fabric that are end of roll and unwanted and they go into all these different cages and you pick out what you want and then they weigh them out. So I can come back with a year's worth of fabric for about 80 quid which means theoretically my profit margins are really good. And I get lots of interesting small amounts of fabric and then I can make one or two dresses or one or two outfits out of one piece of fabric and it means that everything in my shop is completely different because I don't make the same thing over and over and over again in multiple designs, that's not how I work uh, but I haven't gone into town I could have gone in when I went to the cinema last week, two weeks ago, whenever it was that I went but I didn't let myself because I don't really have the money to spend. And I'm probably going to go to the cinema again towards the end of the month because there's another film coming out called Oppenheimer, which I think I'm going to go and see. I saw the trailer for it when I was at the Indiana Jones movie and it looked pretty good. And free tickets again, what have I got to lose? I still have five to use before October, so I might as well go for it. And I might go and have a look around the fabric shop then and see if anything really grabs my attention. But it'll have to be good because, like I've said twice before, I don't have the money at the moment. So July's turned into a really weird month. The heat wave of June has most definitely gone. July, well, I mean, I got back whenever I got back and it's just been really spring-like since then. The heat wave's gone, the sun's gone. The sun really wakes me up and gives me energy. And I think as I get older I'm finding it harder and harder to stay motivated and busy and creative when the weather turns and it gets cold. I just switch off. Um, it's just really frustrating and I don't know how to mentally beat that without just giving in. So this is kind of how July's ending really, it's, um, it's turned into a really flat month, I think maybe because I've been away for so long in such a different environment I've come back to, oh god I'm back here again. Still trying to work out what to do about the money situation, I'm still looking for jobs to apply for. There's not much out there at the moment, not within what I can do, there are lots of like full-time secretarial type roles but they're in industries that I am not familiar with I haven't done secretarial for almost 10 years now and most of them are so far away that there's no way I'm doing that commute um, so I'm still just plodding along looking I've done quite well on surveys survey income seems to be really picking up market research, um, I've had a couple of payouts and I've had a new new one book me and it's like £40 for 90 minutes just talking on a Zoom call about something or other and I love those, those are really quick and easy they're interesting because there are other human beings you get to see everybody who's on the calls and it's nice because it's like a conversation so I quite like those it's like almost doing a work meeting uh, from home kind of thing. But I know that uh, I know that this year was supposed to be the year of change, and things. I mean, nothing's completely changed. 
I've done the things that I planned to do to make long-term improvements, which, oof, if I'm lucky, will happen next year. But none of the changes that I've made so far will affect, are likely to affect this year. And particularly with the way the economy is, you know, interest rates, inflation up again. Um, it's a constant. And I think probably a lot of that is, is kind of dragging me down as well, because I see my bills go up whilst my income goes down. And it's like, well, what do you do? I don't really want to call it quits and go back to work, but... So how is your month going? How's your July been? How's your week been? Are you working? Are you not working? You're running your own business? How's that going? I guess it depends on what you're doing. I, I would imagine some places are doing quite well. But I'm assuming that anything that's kind of like a want rather than a need is probably struggling a little bit at the moment. I mean, all my friends seem to be going on lovely holidays this year. They're all gallivanting abroad. And yet everyone's worried about bills, so I don't know. Maybe I just find it too easy to put aside the wants and just stick to the needs. I don't know. I'm not really sure. So I'm just going to keep eating chocolate. <laughs> Trying to stay hydrated because I'm really lazy about that and I don't think that's good for your energy levels. But um, And I hope you're doing the same. Um, <laughs> there really isn't much else to say at the moment. With any luck, by the time I've uploaded this and faffed around and this, that and the other, something interesting may have happened. We have had some yellow sticker bargains in the supermarket, but I've been turning them into YouTube shorts um, just to see if that helps bring in a few more new watchers and subscribers. I'm just trying all sorts of different little things to see what works, and I'm doing it over on my business channel as well, trying to see different things that will bring in traffic. I mean, I don't make any money from my channels, but I'm always interested in what motivates people. I would say with shorts, it's probably what motivates YouTube, because YouTube seems to decide what everyone sees rather than people deciding what they see. I don't know whether people search in YouTube, whether they just click on anything that turns up in their feed. I'm not a scroller, really, so I don't tend to look at YouTube shorts. I don't just sit there flicking through all the shorts. I subscribe to certain channels that come up on my feed and I watch their videos as they publish them. I'm not really a shorts person, so the only shorts I see are from the channels I'm already watching and because their shorts are small segments of their longer postings, I will tend to skip the shorts and go straight to the full length. But I would imagine that if they're doing shorts like that, it's probably helping to bring in people who wouldn't have otherwise found them. So I'm trying little things like that. So I'm doing a lot of video editing at the moment. Shorts are hard work. It's only 60 seconds, but it's really hard to squish something into 60 seconds because you have to decide which bits you're going to take out, how you squish it together, can you lose fractions of seconds to bring it in under 60 seconds. And it takes an age. It really does. So I'm learning my video skills, my editing skills. Um, I'm no expert. It's all free software. It's all pretty... Um, pretty basic but I've learned all of that this year haven't done video editing before so I've taught all that so that's been fun I've got, got a new skill I can do basic video editing now so maybe I should get a job doing that what I want to do is find a little company who just needs somebody to do bits and pieces it'd be lovely to find somebody something that's that does a lot of stuff to do with frugal living or and maybe environment rewilding, self-employment, just some little community type business or social media type thing that needs somebody or, you know, to come in for a couple of hours a week and fiddle around and write stuff or 
that whatever maybe I don't know maybe I'm maybe that's just another pipe dream that I will actually find other paid work doing stuff I already do rather than going back to mundane office work doing things that I have no interest in because sometimes you just look at it and think ah it's the paychecks all that matters now I was watching a YouTube video by somebody that I've been following for a while called Austin Williams who does frugal living he's really good I find him really really interesting and he started to do a series on what it's like for him being now self-employed because he jacked in his job a year ago and I quite like that he talks about what it's really like the reality of it and he posted up a video the other day which I will link to in the show notes for this episode this vlog makes me sound like I'm important doesn't it this little video upload I will link him and it's just really interesting because I agree with everything he said about how incredibly difficult it is being self-employed it is not the easy option it isn't being at work or working for somebody else but it is having to do everything from you know doing your finances doing the actual work finding the work sorting out the money and but then you also have to motivate yourself because it's not like you work for somebody else and the work kind of appears because that's how the company runs you have to do that yourself and you have to find your own enthusiasm to find it and then do it whereas if you're if you turn up every morning and sit on office desk and work appears in front of you you just get on with it and you do it that's takes all the brain energy out of it you just do it and that's one of the reasons I left doing office work because I think I was destroying my brain cells but um, there are lots of challenges with being self-employed which are that you have to find all that and generate all that and do it yourself and remain motivated and a lot of us are doing when we're self-employed we are on our own we don't have colleagues chucking work at us giving us a kick up the backside when we're not keeping up with deadlines. There's none of that at all. None of that. And if you don't have many deadlines, like me, so I design what I want, when I want, and I put it out for sale on the website. So there are no deadlines for me. Theoretically, the only deadline is making enough money every month, and that went out the window a long time ago. Thanks to the end of 2020 onwards. And I've got used to not having that now and just, you know, pairing everything back to the bare minimum and just living a very, a very simple and extremely frugal life. If I could cut back more, I would, but I've run out of things to cut back on now. I really, really have. Um, so, yeah, the challenges of self-employment. Um, and I'm sure that there are loads of you guys out there who are self-employed like me in a very micro way because uh, you need to talk about being a small business or being self-employed I am a micro business because I'm a I'm a business of one working from home but there are an awful lot of us out there and I think that our challenges are the same and I don't think anyone's talking about it you know we talk about the struggle of small business and bureaucracy and how we're not you know small businesses aren't, aren't given the same help as big retailers but if you're a micro business whether you're making enough money or not all those challenges are there and you're doing it in your own bubble if you're a business of one uh, it's really it's the motivation that's the problem we don't have enough community business hubs like if there was something local to me that was just like a business hub and you could take your laptop um, and sit there and, and work I know they have them in town or they used to have them in town I think the one that I used to because I used to use one has now gone but there were great places to go it was all comfy sofas and chairs and there was a kitchen and you know you'd pay you pay so much a minute for the internet use and then in the kitchen you could just help yourself to whatever you wanted so there were toasters and there was always bread and tea and coffee and cakes and it was it was a really nice atmosphere and there was a piano in the corner like an old 
all regular style old piano and sometimes would come, come on and have a little play of the piano you'd have that in the background while you were working and it was so nice it really was nice and I know that up the road somewhere when I say up the road I'm talking several towns away I think there is a community hub that started up in an old shop there but it's too far away for me to get to and justify I can't walk there if I drive there I'm going to pay for the parking so I'm, all, I'm already floored there I want something that's local that fits into my new work-life balance um, so we need something here in my town or the next town on which are, you know we're, we're we're a grouping of small villages that have become towns so walking distance to the next town is 20 minutes I could do that um, and then I wouldn't have to drive the car to spend money on the car but we don't have any of those here at the moment uh, I don't know how many small businesses there are here in my town there must be I reckon there must be loads of people working like me all these flats and all these houses I bet there are loads of people running their little side hustles so maybe that's a good research project let's see how many micro businesses I can find in my own town I'm interested to know what's going on there and see if where do they go are they just like me? Are they just sitting here doing nothing? Anyway, I've waffled on for 21 minutes about absolutely nothing whatsoever. So micro-businesses, are you a micro-business? How are you coping with the way things were, but also the challenge of, maybe you're not, not making enough money to pay the bills at the same time? How are you addressing that? Are you giving up and going back to work? Are you finding even more side hustles? Have you changed what you make, what you do? I'm really interested to know what your strategies are because maybe I'm missing something that's even more obvious than just quitting and going back to office life. If ever anyone will have me, of course. Um, but let me know. I'd be really interested to know what you're all up, up to out there because right now this is the only way I can connect with anyone. And I do love YouTube for that. I do love that I can dip into people's lives and it's just so interesting. I love it. I love it. Anyway, so do comment. If you've already got your own like little micro business channel or whatever else you're doing, link it below because I love finding new channels to follow and the more basic and honest and transparent and authentic and simple they are, the better. I'm not looking for fancy editing and what have you um, as you can probably tell from my channel there's not a lot of that going on and these actually are the channels that I really really like so if you're just starting out link below I'd love to know who you are and where you are anyway that's all I'm going to say for today so bye